Well, we're in the Taylor Fork in the southern Madison Range, about 9,000 feet on a northwest aspect. And our main avalanche concerns right now involve wet avalanches. Um, this We have this stout crust on the surface that formed with warm temperatures and cold nights, kind of a melt-freeze cycle. And while that's frozen right now, we have pretty stable conditions. Once that breaks down um, and becomes wet, we can start to see wet, loose avalanches. And this snow underneath is still really dry, and that'll heat up quick and uh, make wet, loose avalanches larger as they entrain more snow. Deeper in the snowpack in some slopes, we have some buried weak layers that could produce larger avalanches and could be triggered by a wet loose slide or a cornice fall. So if you're seeing signs of instability, if the snow surface is getting wet and you're seeing wet loose avalanches or large roller balls, it's a good idea to avoid avalanche terrain or choose some shadier, colder slopes for the day.